Hi guys, I'm home from Coachella. Look at my sweater, it says Coachella. But anyways, we did it, we survived. I'm home, it's so crazy. I missed you guys, first of all. Two, I got home at like 3 a.m. last night. So I'm so beat, my feet hurt, body hurts. I have like the worst headache and I'm so tired. Like I'd probably fall asleep for another 10 hours like if I went to bed right now. And it's like almost three o'clock. <laughs> I'm just so exhausted. I need like a full 24 hours to recover from this weekend. I feel like anyone that goes definitely does because it's just like nonstop go. Like you do not have time to like sit and rest. And like, I don't even think we got like a full night's rest like any night. I think the longest we slept maybe was six hours. <laughs> that's not natural or okay at all, especially at Coachella, um, but that's literally all you could sleep because you have to be up so early and we had to go to events like outside of Coachella that we had to be to kind of early So like we went to the Celsius event We went to Sally Hansen and then we also went to the Revolve Fest and then on top of that obviously Coachella Oh my gosh, so insane um, But yeah, I'm happy to be home. I'm happy to be vlogging and stuff and just get back to reality it, Feels like the weekend didn't even happen now that I'm home. Like, it's just like, yeah, I was in Palm Springs yesterday. <laughs> I don't know, kind of crazy, but I'm not gonna sit here and talk about it for 10 minutes. Um, I did vlog the whole entire weekend, so that will be posted on either Saturday or Sunday, depending on what day I want it to go up. So stay tuned for that. So if you guys like wanna watch it and see what I'm on, you can. Um, but overall, I'm just gonna summarize it. Crazy, fun-filled, a lot. <laughs> A lot doesn't even count, but it's just a lot. It's so much walking. The amount of Ubers that we ordered this weekend. Um, it was definitely a learning experience too, because it was our first time and a lot of questions were asked. We like one time went to the wrong location. Um, so yeah, I mean, so much stuff went on, but I think we figured it out, I would say like day two like by the end of the night we we're like okay we go here this is the bus we get on this is where we go home this is where we get picked up um this is where that stage is at that was also crazy how big the festival is we went up to like where the ferris wheel was and we we're like there's another stage over there there's another stage over there there's like so many different stages it's so crazy um so like my number one tip to anyone that is going next weekend for the first time Obviously, I'm sure you've done your research and you're like prepared and whatnot with your goodies and clothing and all that. Um, people were wearing winter coats. The amount of North Faces I saw last um, last night and like, not last night, sorry. I'm like out of it right now. When it was nighttime at Coachella, it was crazy. Um, that's like my number one tip is that it's so hot during the day. So dress for that, but also carry a jacket. Do not care that you have to carry a jacket. It is freezing to the point where like you will want to leave because your body is just so cold that it hurts. My hands, day three, like nighttime when the sunset, they were hurting. I like was trying to text someone and I couldn't because my like my fingers were just so numb. Like that's just not okay. It was so 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 cold. So don't underestimate how cold it gets. We definitely did for sure. And we made that mistake, even though we knew it was gonna get cold. I don't know why, but yeah, it was really cold. So if you're going next weekend, please bring a jacket and bring warmer clothes, change of clothes, run out of locker. I don't care what you have to do, just bring clothes so you're warm and you can actually enjoy the night because day three was the only night that we didn't have anything to keep us warm and we were miserable. So yeah, that's my tip <laughs> for next weekend if you are going for the first time, but um, obviously I'm not experienced because it was my first time, but it's just so insane and um, the celebrities we saw, which was insane. I never fangirled so much in my entire life. We got to see Lana perform, Tyler, no doubt which Gwen brought out Olivia Rodrigo, like queen, like that's insane. Uh, Taylor Swift and Travis was there. We didn't see them. They were... I think like watching like I Spice perform, I think, but that's crazy. Um, we saw a lot of like Riverdale people. They were like all at the Revolve Festival. We saw Alex Earl at the airport yesterday. That was awesome. She's so pretty in person um, and just a bunch of other people. So yeah, that was really cool. Uh, we watched BB Rexa perform. Tyler brought out like four different people. 
which was insane. Surprise guest. Oh, Billie Eilish. Lana brought out Billie. I'm like trying to think. I'm like just so out of it. Like it feels like a fever dream. I can't think. But yeah, just so crazy. Like all of the surprise guests. Oh, Renee Rapp brought out Kesha. I can't believe it. Everyone did so good this year. I'm saying that like I've been before, but <laughs> just from what I experienced, it was a really good time. And I definitely would go back for sure. I would definitely go to Coachella again. Especially now that I know like what to expect. I feel like I would definitely be more prepared for like my second time if I was to go again. But yeah, so like I said, there's going to be a whole vlog on my channel. Um, I don't want to be talking for, you know, 10, 15 minutes about it, but I had a lot of fun. Obviously, this opportunity was given to me because of you guys. So thank you. Love y'all. Y'all are the best. You are responsible for Coachella for me and me experiencing it. So thank you you guys are awesome and yeah i'm just super grateful for the whole experience and to be able to go and to be invited and whatnot was just awesome and celsius revolve and sally hansen to invite me to those pre-events was awesome and just to go with casey was so much fun so okay hi from us we're just vlogging today emma's home obviously you know that now um she came home last night so we're running to walgreens i need hairspray and a couple things I don't get it from like the grocery store or whatever because it's too expensive and then we're going back to the grocery store today because I'm going to make hamburgs because we have corn on the cob I need to use so we're going to have corn on the cob, mac and cheese and cheeseburgers from the house so I need to get bun, hamburger, ground beef, sorry, ground beef <clears throat> and um, so we're running a couple errands. Um, my IBS is just flared to out all get out today. I'm trying to be cautious. <laughs> um, anyway, so she came home last night. I got up and checked about 2.30 and she was home. So I said that we might do a fun video uh, or whatever. Well, we're not doing the fun video, obviously. Emma doesn't feel like getting up out of bed and we should do it today because Ellie doesn't have softball practice, but whatever. So, um, we're just going to vlog for the day, so we'll take you with. And I'll show you what I get from Walgreens. Okay, done in Walgreens. Toothpaste. A giant bag of mints because we leave them in the car. So, like, at games or whatever, we can have... I got $7 coupon. We save 10% because it's senior day. Senior day. It's the first time I've got to use senior discount. Yeah. He's 55. 55 and older. So we got to save an additional 10%. See? Pay is getting old. I got hair volume spray. Then I got this is the hairspray I use. And then we got B12. <laughs> And a B1 because I have B6 at home. And Mark needs to take these three Bs. B1, B6, and B12. Okay, I don't have a tripod, so we're making do. I've got pickles. I'm gonna try these body armors. Then we got sandwich pickles. We got a hamburger bun. And then... I got these salad kits. This is an everything chopped salad kit with ranch. And then this is a Caesar salad kit. They're nice because you can like take them to softball games or whatever. Got a pound of turkey. And then here's our burgers for the night. And yeah, that's all we got. I was looking for these pickle things Ellie wanted, but I, they're called Oh Snaps. They're little pickle things in a bag. Can't find them. All right, I'm going to put this stuff away, and then I'm going to get dinner going. All righty. Mac and cheese. Got our stuff for our burgers. Mark's outside grilling them. Here's our corn on the cob. And I'm finishing watching 13 going on 30 because I started watching a couple days ago and didn't get to finish. And yeah, the doggies are just waiting for dinner. So we're going to eat. All right, dinner is done. It was good. I am exhausted today. I just tried this body armor. 
it leaves an aftertaste in your mouth. Uh, dinner was good. I'm gonna get it all picked up and put away. It's 7.30, time to wind down for the day. I will have Ellie vlog, and then Emma will, of course, end the video because she's home. So, I will see you guys tomorrow, and they will see you in a second. Ellie made me take her to the beach. It's actually pretty um, to take pictures. There's her outfit, jeans, tube top, so cute. And this is my getup. <laughs> I haven't showered yet, but I said I would take her to take pictures, so. Well, guys, it's windy, but there's like fishermen over here. And they literally have a drone with a fish tied to it. Wait, hold on, stop moving. Do you see that? What is, I've never seen that before. That's so interesting. Okay, we took some pictures. <laughs> it's too windy. Too windy, apparently. Um, I, there's like, probably 2,000 totals, so I think she'll I'll probably post it on my Instagram. God, is it post? Seriously? I'll just take photos. You guys will just post it on your actual page. No. <laughs> I didn't like that. But that's all we came to uh, the beach for. Now we're leaving. But it's okay because we're going to be all the traffic. Well, Where actually, are we going? What do you mean? Home? You have school. <laughs> I'm going to bed early, too. <laughs> What's up guys, we're home, I showered, I feel so much better, oh my gosh. I should have done it earlier, but just was not feeling good at all. I just did not have the energy, but I'm definitely feeling so much better. I've been drink drinking Gatorade, I've been drinking fire water. <laughs> like this is crazy. So yeah, and then I've been taking vitamins and stuff, I'm just resting, because that's definitely what I needed. You know, had some dinner, went to sunset, pretty chill day. Um, but anyways, I took my shower and look what I, look what I got off. Um, I was afraid that I was gonna have to cut these which I didn't want to do because I wanted to obviously keep them Even if I did have to cut them, I would keep them but um, Yeah, I just took a shower like literally Tried my hardest to get them off and they came off so got them over my fat thumb So here's the Coachella one flower. Here's the revolve one just orange and then this is the Celsius one so cute. Astro Vibe, sorry, that's totally not the same thing, but Astro Vibe. Um, it's for their, Celsius event was for their new drinks. It's like, there's three, I think. I really wanna go get some of those. But yeah, I got them off, so now we get to keep them. Um, so fun, they're still wet. <laughs> Anyways, the shower is great. Today I didn't really do much, obviously. Like I said, I wasn't planning on doing anything. Tomorrow's gonna be my reset day because I need to unpack, I need to do laundry. Freaking Winston peed on my comforter. It's a love-hate relationship at the moment. So now I have to wash my comforter tomorrow too. And then also pick up my room. I need to edit and get that done. The Coachella vlog, of course. And then that's about it. It's really all that I need to do for a reset. And yeah, so anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. I'm so happy to be home, be back, you know, to vlogging and stuff and reality. So anyways, I will see you all very soon. Back with more videos. Bye guys.